Have you ever wanted to make a Roblox game but thought that would take too long? Wrong! In today's video, I'm going to make a Roblox game in 10 minutes flat. Three, two, one, let's go! Okay, here I am in Roblox Studio. First, I need to find a base plate and delete that. I hate base plates. And what we're going to be making today is a guess the right door kind of game, a quiz game. It's very easy to make. You can make good money from it if you monetize it well, and I can make it in 10 minutes. So I'm just going to delete everything aligning. I'm going to insert a part in here. The first thing I'm going to be doing is creating the spawn point where players spawn. Let's make that 21. 20, right? Let's anchor that. Very important so people don't fall through the world, right? And we don't want that at all. Let's make that bright green. Let us insert a spawn location. That's actually where the, like, the players are going to spawn. And you got the spawn location in there. Now, let's hide the spawn location. Can glide off so they can't touch it. And then let's remove the force field. I'm going to insert an arrow from the free models yes you can use free models they're actually decent as just make sure that they don't have any viruses otherwise your game is not gonna do well at all now second thing i want is duplicate the part right here and basically this is gonna be a template that i'm gonna copy and paste for the purposes of having gates that players can pass through we're gonna copy that we're gonna make this gray we're gonna resize that Oh, I have a spawn location in there, my bad. We're going to resize that. There we go. I actually don't have a lot of time here at all. So let's make it like that. Nine studs is probably enough for a player to pass through. Let's copy and paste, copy and paste that. So we're making the doors that players have to choose from, right? And then we're going to actually make the door itself that players are going to touch and either it's going to be the right door and players will go through just fine or it's the wrong door and they will die if they touch it. So I'm going to call this A, I'm going to call this B, I'm going to make sure this is, both of them actually are can collide off. Let's group these together, let's group that and that is template, right? I'm going to insert a surface GUI in here, insert an image label inside of that size, let's say 1.7010. So we basically take up the entire UI here, make sure we find the right face, no light influence. Let's set the anchor point to 0.5. That means we're going to center it just like so. And we're going to change this to fit. Now copy and paste that in there. Okay, and I'm gonna make one of these red just for the lulls. There we go. The lighting looks pretty bad right now, so what I'm gonna be doing is changing that up, making sure it actually looks decent, make it something you wanna play. Blue sky, there we go. This is actually pretty intense, guys. If you try to make a game in this amount of time, it's, it's, it's intense. So color correction effect, Increase the brightness, let's increase the saturation a little bit. I don't like the sky, so let's go with this one here. It's kind of the same. There we go, that looks okay enough for me, at least for this video, right? And we're going to add the final touch, which is the question. We want to have a question at the top right there. Instead of an image, we're going to have a text label, just like so. Make sure it takes up the entire frame. Background transparency to one, scale it up, make it white. Let's have this be called question. Let's make that for Doka one, give it a text stroke. Why not? Uh, 15 or something like that. Yep, bevel that. And we have our working template. I still don't like the lighting for some reason. Maybe, yeah, I can do that. Increase that a little bit. How are we doing on time? Four minutes, we're doing fine. And just for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to have like, like uh, you know, four stages and then we're going to get to the end. Of course, you can copy and paste this infinitely and make a really quick game. If I had like an hour, I could have like 100 stages easy. But for, for 10 minutes, I mean, four is fine. So we spawn in. We're facing the right way. You have question and you can pass through the doors. The next thing is making sure that whenever the player touches the wrong door, they will die. So we're going to use collection service. There we go. And that is basically 
a service that lets you collect things. Big surprise, <laughs> right? So collection service, and we're just gonna be doing a loop. If you don't know how to code, check out my Zero to Hero series. It's gonna be very useful for you because you're not gonna learn to code from this video. So for item in collection service, get tagged, and let's have kill do item dot touch connect function and we're gonna have hit so whenever something touches one of the parts that is tagged to kill we're gonna check for a player uh so game get service players get player from character and hit dot parent if player then that means hit dot parent is character and basically we can break joints or character even though that's outdated i'm gonna use it for this video and i'm gonna, just gonna assign this very quick just like that kill okay if you go through this door now you should die fantastic i'm really happy that worked first try now what we're gonna be doing is actually adding the questions so what is the best game on roblox let's have that be the first question these are going to be the most random questions because i did not plan the questions at all best game on roblox question mark and we're gonna have grow a garden sure yeah let's use that right there and we're gonna find b i guess it's gonna be the wrong <laughs> the wrong uh answer in this case that might upset some people and steal a brain rot right and we can copy and paste that image again totally random images you can make a game like this very easily and basically just i don't know make it about any theme and then make it as long as you want add some monetization and people will play it and they would stick around for a while especially if it's a long hobby so let's just do that sure best game on roblox i'm just gonna like make them vary like this they're gonna be completely random kill right next question i really don't know i'm gonna go to the images section here and try and get some ideas um which is the coolest coolest avatar and i'm just gonna copy this guy here why not surface gui paste that uh, or let's find another avatar i guess this one works why not B or A, and that goes there. And you get the gist, right? I mean, it's very, very simplistic. I need another question. Which is the Overseer package? Cool. So that's the actual Overseer package. Does this have a kill part? Yes. So we need it to be A, right? And you're going to have that right there. That did not work. Why is that not letting me? Okay, I guess I can't do that. Whoops. Let's just put that there and let's get a red cliff packet. I don't know why it's not letting me paste that in. One. Oh, I'm pasting it in the wrong bar. Wow, okay. Is that the right one? Should be. Okay, this is slowing me down. I need it to work and I need it to work now. So image, paste that in there. That worked. Okay, it was just my bad. Over here, I wrote that wrong. I only have one minute left. Come on. And we'll do that. That worked. And the last question is going to be uh which is a roblox face okay and you've got that which is an actual roblox face and we can paste that in there or that that is obviously a hat right so we're gonna paste that in there fantastic we're basically done we got like 40 seconds to spare so you spawn here you go through the right door and eventually through a series of hopefully correct choices you get to the end if you were actually taking time to code a game like this, you could have some sort of time reward at the end, give the players some cash, get them to respawn and replay the game. Maybe we can make a very quick text label GUI here in like 20 seconds, 
0.10.10. Let's call you get to the end for free rewards, right? That might get people to play a bit more. For Doka 1, tech stroke, and basically we're at 10 minutes now, but I'm done. So there you go, you got that, you spawn in, and... Oh, I copied and pasted the wrong thing, it, it has a spawn point in it, my bad. Now we're, we're done, technically, so... Which is the best Roblox game? I know that I said this one to be the right one. Still a brain rot. Coolest avatar, probably this one. And then this is the Overseer package. This is a Roblox face. But just for argument's sake, let's just choose this one and they'll die, right? If they choose the wrong one. And you can imagine this being one of, I'm actually gonna put a video of a game like this on the screen now. And there's a bunch of people playing this game. You can make a game like this in 10 minutes Put in a bit more time into it, refine it a little bit, half the questions actually make sense because my questions are completely random. And create some sort of buzz around your game, have a nice thumbnail and icon for the game, and you're looking at a pretty successful game made in an extremely short amount of time. So if you want to make a game like this, leave a comment, I want to see your results, and I'll see you in the next video.